As usual, welcome back. I, I'm I'm gonna save. Welcome back. Um, I'm gonna fight this rocket. I'm guarding the poster. Go away or else. Why? <clears throat> you gotta wonder. Why would this guy guard this poster? If it's a poster, then who's going to think that it's at all weird? Unless they see a guy yelling that he's guarding the poster. Like, he pretty much just gives it away. Like, so he says out loud, Oh, the Team Rocket hideout might be discovered. I better tell boss. So then he goes around and he vanishes over here. And you click on the poster. Secret switch behind the poster? Let's press it. Yeah, so apparently these guys are complete retards. They will... Let's see, I'm gonna steal your escape rope. Sweet, I got another escape rope. So we got enough escape ropes now. This guy, you have to fight him eventually, so... Who are you? How did you get in here? Well, you guys are retards, so... You kind of walked... You pretty much walked me into here. Poison gas. Yeah, poison... My poison-type Nidoking. Good job. <laughs> I, I, I did switch, so... You know, I was ready for that. Alright, but... These guys... Team Rocket does not think. They never consider... You know, what if we all just massively jumped this kid at once? What would happen then? Um, Let's see, I'm trying to find my place. Where do I want to be going right now? Do I want to be here? I'm not sure. Ooh, there's an item down here. I'll face him. Okay, got we got word that you were coming from upstairs. So why aren't you all piling on top of me ten at a time? <sighs> okay, he's going to karate chop me. All right, you know what? Um, this tackle move has been here for way too long, and I'm sick of it. So remember that all-around good secret power that I picked up. I'm gonna use it now. Let's see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. cut the lash. Waterfalls. Hyper beam. That's a fun move. Let's see. Where's the secret power? Oh, did I pass it? There it is. Yeah, yeah, I passed it. Okay. So Ivysaur is now going to. Get rid of this useless tackle, and boom, secret power. This is an awesome move. I love it so much. Okay, what did I... Oh, frustration. This... I've never found use for frustration, because I'm a good kid to my Pokemon. And I think the game kind of lets you be good to your Pokemon regardless. So I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. Maybe I should have gone downstairs first, but... Let's get this rare candy. I mean... <clears throat> Let's see, I'll, I'll get through this walk. Wait, why do they have these things here? I mean, what purpose do the rockets find in this? Uh, oh, right, I need to go around here. And that guy, I'll avoid him. Black glass is great. Is the basement key? The basement key, it better be down here. No, Max. Okay, we got another TM snatch. Okay. The elevator doesn't work? Who has the lift key? So you're asking me this? You know, so the intruder comes into the base, and the first thing he thinks to say is, the elevator doesn't work, who has the lift key? Now, you have to talk to this guy after this battle is over. Well, you did in the previous game. You had to talk to the guy after the battle is over. I think in this game, they wise up, and they just have him immediately say he drops it. Oh no, I dropped the lift key! I'm not going to bend over and pick it up or anything. No, I, I steal it, and he just lets me. You know... But in spite of this, in spite how unbearably stupid these guys all are, like, how do, how do they get organized? In spite of how dumb they are, I still like Team Rocket more than the other teams. Like, Team Rocket was enough. You didn't need um, Team Galactic, Team Aqua, Team Magma, Team Snagum, uh, Team This, That, Whatever, Cypher. You didn't need those, guys. You don't need to keep making teams of incompetent men who dropped out of high school. It, it, why would you do that? Well, whatever. So, I'm probably missing out on some good stuff, but... I, ooh. Item. Yay, Hyper Potion. But I don't care. I'm, I really just want to get through this game um, really fast. Let's see. Basement floor four. So you go down here. I'm kind of ashamed that this game is for kids. 
because this game actually does require a lot of thinking right towards the end, and it is very satisfying to play, as I've said before. So, what they should do, they should make a Pokemon game for adults, and like I said, that's what I want to do. I'd make a Pokemon game that finally had, like, a teenage or young adult Pokemon trainer, and the team in my game, it would be Team Rocket again. It would not be any of these ridiculous wannabe teams that never worked out. No, we go back to the Rockets. We go back to um, the glory days. Except this time, the Rockets would be good. I think there are a couple of Team Rocket guys who have Crobat as their Pokemon. And Crobat's the, a Pokemon that strangely evolves only through loving kindness. Like, you be nice to it, and uh, that's what makes it grow up into Crobat. Now... What kind of um, evil Team Rocket member that says, Use Pokemon for the glory of Team Rocket. You know, the no these Nazi-ish Team Rocket guys. Who among them is kind enough to get himself a Crobat? But I'm going to be explaining that if I ever do decide to make my own Pokemon game. I'll be making the Team Rocket guys... It's going to turn out, you know, as a twist that the Team Rocket guys are the good guys. And then... The government or something like that. Why'd this door open? Eh. Plot required it. The Team Rocket guys happen to be the good guys who are just trying to stop the government. And the government's the evil force in the game. But Okay, so I'm going to use one of my um, fresh waters just to... I've almost got a new space here. And so this is Giovanni. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. Yeah, um, why are you telling me this? I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. You know, does nobody have a gun? <laughs> I guess the realisticity. Like I said, the, my game will be realistic. If I ever get around to designing it, it will be a game where you have to think on your feet. Because... Nobody is stupid enough to go down into, right into this beehive of rocket guys, in spite of how mentally deranged they are, all by yourself. Like, a 10-year-old going amidst a bunch, a bunch of criminals, likely convicts, maybe, you no know, sex offenders in their life. Who would do that? But in Pokemon, you can. You can gamble as a child, and you can go amongst a bunch of criminals without... No, the least bit of fear in your heart. But... Anyway, okay. Uh, I see that you raised Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never have, never understand what I hope to achieve. I will step aside this time. I hope we meet again. What is he trying to achieve? I mean, if he's trying to achieve world domination through Pokemon, like in the TV show, that's that's not complicated. That's not hard to understand. You want to rule the world using these um, super powerful animals that probably got turned into Pokemon because of a meteor containing a certain space bacteria that fell into Mount Moon or something. I, I don't know how it worked, but he wants to use uh, an army of super creatures that will obey your every command and doing this, he will rule the world. Yeah, A child like me couldn't understand something like that. Please. I mean, I watch Power Rangers at a younger age than 10. No, if you can understand Power Rangers, you can understand Giovanni's... Um, I can't imagine Giovanni using uh, Pokemon for any sort of good. Oh, I, I want to comment on this game corner. Let's just check out these prizes. Oh, no, I don't want coin. Oops, sorry. Let's see, I'll go to the prizes area right here. Let's just see what the prizes are here for this for the crap of it. Abra, or uh, Clefairy, I already had Dratini. Dratini is my favorite Pokemon. And I'll, I'll get into that later, but for right now, let's just look at the Scyther and Porygon. Oh, Porygon's expensive, wow. Okay, this is um, Ice Beam. They really should... Okay, they do tell you what it is. That's Ice Beam, that's Solar Beam, I think. And it's a lot cheaper in the later games. This is Thunderbolt, which is a really great Electric-type move. Um, I think that's Shadow Ball, or, yeah, Shadow Ball, and this is Flamethrower. And let's see, finally you have, yeah, this stuff could come in uh, pretty good handy, but for now, we're out of recording time, so 
Uh, as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you later.